Hi there, Bosus. I'm going to share the 10 of the hundreds of macros I use in Final Fantasy XIV. These are very used and increase my quality of life gameplay tenfold. I hope you can find a macro that you haven't yet incorporated into your gameplay. Macro number one. This uses the popular method of using the snap emote to change jobs with an added twist. With this macro, it shows the warrior icon, snaps, changes to warrior, then performs the battle stance. I have this setup for all my jobs and I just love the RP aesthetic. It brings when my character changes into jobs and then uses their battle stance as well. This one just had to be mentioned first because so many people still don't know about this. There's also some amazing ways to change titles and minions for each job as well. Let me know if you want to see that in the next series of macros. Macro number two, shiny weapon. Using the simple macro to show your shiny weapon, either sitting down, running around, or on a mount, it really can up your G pose game when you can see your shiny effects and the weapon on your back instead of having to do a pose for it. You can get real creative with all the different setups here, but I love it so much and spend so much time G posing with it. Make sure to like this video if you like macros to make your life easier. Macro number three, Island Sanctuary. When I go to Island Sanctuary, I specifically use this dancer, but this works for any job. I just like Dancer for the extra movement before you unlock flying at later levels. I have it switched to Dancer, HUD Layout 4 to which I've cleared all my UI elements so then I can have a clean interface. There are multiple ways to achieve the clean interface but I use this method because it just works for me. And then it changes me to Cross Hotbar 7 to which my mounts and other things I have for Island Sanctuary are there. I don't have the Cross Hotbar showing again because I want a clean UI when I'm in Island Sanctuary. Of course we have a macro to change back so I guess this is like 11 macros. I use Black Mage as my main job, and what you just have to do is change to HUD Layout 1, changes to Black Mage, and changes to Cross Hotbar 1. It just makes it easy to get in and out of island mode. Macro number 4, Level Sync. I use this to automatically level sync to Fate, so I do not have to click that pesky level sync button because on controller that can get really annoying. Just way easier to macro for it. You can extend this by adding the mount roulette, so if you're Fate farming you can easily level sync and dismount your mount. Macro number five, follow. This is my most used macro of all time because I've been doing a ton of hunt trains lately. And that is to follow the nearest PC, AKA player. It will target the nearest player and then instantly start following them. The only thing I do is jump after I mount, hit that macro and off we go. This has saved me so much time in hunt trains and it works about 95% of the time. Sometimes you have someone who is stopped or teleports and you have to refollow, but you just rehit the macro. It's so incredible at saving time than flying yourself or hitting that follow under that menu each time. Macro number six. This is my only crafter macro in this video, but it's worth mentioning for level 80 crafters and above. Once you're here, you get trained eye, which allows you to craft recipes 10 levels below yourself for 100% quality in one hit. This is a godsend when doing custom deliveries, studium deliveries, or preparing materials for any crafts that you need for high quality. It just is a go-to crafter foundational macro, and you will be using this a lot because all the recipes are 80 and below, and the ones between 80 and 90, you have another macro for. Do yourself a favor and save yourself some time and just use this macro for all of the level 80 recipes and below. Macro number seven, traveling back to warrior. This is a say hi to the party and tank stance macro. Every time you get into a dungeon or a piece of group content, it will say hello or whatever you put there. And then it will turn your tank stance on no matter which tank you are. Highly useful as tank stance gets turned off all the time. And it's really annoying to forget your tank stance and have your party die. <laughs> Sometimes I forget the quality of life I have by using this macro. Macro number eight, tribal quest macro. This is all of the tribal daily quest chat window phrases that you'll have to say all in one easy macro. So no matter what tribal quest you're doing, it will automatically complete the say part. It is so annoying to have to type out those phrases they want you to say, and now you only have to do it once and never again. This also includes the new tribal quest that was added for gathering. It is a little long, so I will make sure to include the whole thing as you can't see it all in the same macro window. Macro number nine, Scholar Ready. This is not only a job change macro like the warrior, but it also summons your fairy. I have this set up for summoner as well, so then it will automatically summon the carbuncle for that. It's just super useful and worth mentioning for those healer mains out there. This is one of those things that you don't think is a big deal, but once you start doing it, you are never gonna look back. Macro number 10, teleport. I'm a bit biased as I am a black mage main, but ethereal manipulation used for teleporting without having to select the party member is a little OP. 
I have it set up to select the second party member in the party list, which is always the tank for how I have my party list set up. And eight, maybe nine out of 10 times, the tanks are mostly always in the right place for any time I need to actually use this macro. This is for like stack markers or room wides that are gonna swipe the entire arena and there's only a small safe spot. Usually the tanks are in the safe spot. If you play with people, then you know and can trust that person to always be in the right place and it's even more beneficial for you. It's just super helpful for us immobile black mage mains. These are the 10, well kind of 11, many used macros for my personal gameplay. If you'd like to see more macros, then please drop a like and comment on this video so I know and can make more of these macro guides for you. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.